Welcome back to Online Cubase Tutorials. This is Jeff, and in this video, we're going to learn how to use the built-in quantize panel inside of Cubase, and it's a really powerful tool to shape your uh, groove of your um, MIDI data that you recorded. In this case, um, we've got a kind of a housey trance uh, EDM track going so far. I'm going to go ahead and play this so you can hear. Um, we're we're going to use the quantize on this ride pattern, this symbol ride that I just recorded. So here's the track. I'm going to play it first um, one time through with the um, instruments, and then I'm going to turn on the click, and then we'll listen just to the ride by itself. And I, I recorded this with quantize off on purpose to get a, a good human feel in there. And this was just, you know, tapping on the the uh, keys of my, of my uh, MIDI controller. So let's take a listen. Okay. I turn on the click and mute the drums and the bass. Oops. I guess we need the drums. That's the cymbal ride is what we're after here. Sounds pretty good just as it is, but I want to play around with it and see if we can make it a little bit better. So I'm going to select that whole thing. I'm going to go to Edit Quantize Panel. I want to show you how this works. And it, it helps to see exactly what's going on. Let me turn the click off. And what we got here is when you record something and you're playing it by hand and you have quantized turned off, what happens is you can see like right here is a perfect example. We have some notes that I hit too early and they lead the beat. And this one's just by a tiny amount. This one is actually trailing the beat by a little bit. So what quantize does is it, it's a way for you to fix your MIDI data. And it used to be, you know, if you have like an old school drum machine, it had 16 buttons on it you would just turn on and off those buttons. So you would always hit right perfectly on the beat. But the resolution of MIDI data is like, I don't know, 192 or like 400 and something pulses per quarter note or something crazy like that. So there's like, you know, hundreds of, of variations in where that note can fall according to the beat. So that's what creates a groove. And so with the quantized panel, you can see there's like some different default settings to start from. And so techno music or electronic dance music is almost always um, one sixteenth. So 16th note. So if you, if you look basically the 16th quantizer puts everything right perfectly on the beat, just like an old school drum machine with 16 buttons, it was perfectly on the beat. You just turned it on or off. And if I hit quantize to that, you'll see all these notes jump perfectly to the beat. Now I'm going to undo that because that's not what I want for this. And that's where this advanced interface is so nice. It comes it comes in really handy because what you can do is you can say, you know what, I like 16th notes, but I want to actually swing that a little bit. And you can see the effect of swing just by dragging this up and looking at those gray bars. What that does, it takes like the, um, I guess the odd number counts of the measure and it shifts them in time to the right. So that's what creates swing. And you can see it here and you can also see it in here. It's moving right along with the dragging of that mouse. So typically, <clears throat> excuse me, typically I like about a, a 13 to 19% swing. It just has like a groove, a, a good groove feel to, um, to music, uh, to electronic dance music. So, and you can see for, for these, um, this particular note right here is a little bit um, past the beat already, so that's almost perfectly already. And if I, I, you know, go and zoom out here, I'm holding the control key and scrolling downward on the scroller wheel. It makes it a little bit hard to see, but um, if I were to uh, increase that swing, you can see those those bars move in. I'm gonna go to like 13%, and then there's this thing in here called catch range. Catch range is a way for you to define how badly you can play like if if you get within 30 percent of the actual note it'll move it if you put it outside of here it won't move it i'm sorry it will 
So again, let me, let me explain this again. If you have this set to zero, then anything outside of where those light lines are will get moved to the line. And that has a, pro, uh, basically what that does, it like perfectly formats it to one sixteenth with the 13% swing. So as you drag this up, it says, you know what, if you get within nine or 10 or 12, if you get within 12% of that note, just leave it where it is. It's close enough. Leave some human feel. So this is like a human feel dial where you get to decide like, you know what, what I played is pretty good. So leave it. If it was within 15%, of where the 13% one sixteenth grid swing that I was going for, if it's within 15% of that, just don't touch it. If it's outside of that, fix it to the nearest point. So you, what you can do is just, you can put this to auto You turn on auto and it will auto snap. And then you can play this and you can fiddle with these settings and just listen to it real close as it plays. And you can see, you know, where your notes are falling. So in this case, you can see this, this one right here didn't get fixed. This one right here didn't get fixed. So it left some of that, um, correction in there. Now, if I were to go and crank this range up, see that, see how those notes are, are, are moving back to where they would be. So again, you can basically, the more you crank this up, the more human feel imperfect you get. And the more you drag this down, the more computerized it becomes. It's perfectly on the beat now. Or I can say, you know what? If, if I'm close, just just let it be. So I like I like the number 13. We can we can go with a 13%, 13%. We'll just see what that sounds like. I'm gonna go stop and it should go back here to five, or I could do this. Click here and hit play and let's see. So now you can see I'm um, right on the beat. So it took only about a, yeah, you can see there. So about, tw you know, my worst note was about 20% off. So anyways, hopefully that sh that gives you an idea. And then this is now set for your project automatically. So anytime I can, can come up here, this is like a mini quantize panel. I can come up here and just hit apply quantize to anything I record now and it will match these settings that I have in the quantize panel super powerful um, it's pretty much how I do all electronic music I'll just lay down a pattern pretty quick and then I'll see if I'm close enough to where I can use the quantize panel to make that um, really fit in with the groove that I've going so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one